All right, back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing a beer from the Great Lakes Brewing Company, and they are out of Cleveland, Ohio, and this is their Beer Wolf. So they are calling this one a German-style Dunkelweizen that is brewed with chocolate, orange peel, and cold brew coffee. Comes in at 6.6% alcohol by volume, 25 IBUs at the time of review. I don't know exactly how old this bottle is, but it's probably super fresh, and that's because this has a Best Buy date of June 20th of 2020, and uh, we are about five months away from then, so yeah, I'm thinking this is damn fresh. So uh, yeah, this one sounds really interesting. On the side here, it says cold brew coffee, chocolate, and orange peel creep deep into the heart of this German-style Dunkelweizen, transforming a once traditional brew into a hauntingly decadent hybrid. So yeah, it sounds pretty interesting. I like Dunkelweizens. Now you're introducing uh, chocolate, orange peel, and cold brew coffee. Sounds very interesting. Can't say I've had a beer like this before. So let's crack it open and get it into the hashtag proper glassware because it is the Great Lakes glass. It's actually their 25th anniversary glass from 2013. So yeah, anyway, let's give it a pour here. I think I just cracked my elbow, or, um, wrist, snapped it right in half. Big pop. Anyway, put it over here. You know what? It's a big enough glass. Let's just throw it all in there. Let's just throw it all in there. I rarely do that, but let's do it. No reason not to. So uh, let me actually, I don't want this to get down on the label or not. Doesn't matter, not really. And I'm sneaking taste, cheating, the whole nine. Anyway, wow, that pours out this beautiful ruby red color. On camera, it's going to look darker, maybe like a dark ruby red or dark mahogany or something. But ruby red, I would say like a rust color almost. Uh, you know, poured in everything, very murky. Has about a finger of this light tan, uh, light tan, light tan, a creamy colored head. Yeah, it looks fantastic in the glass. It really does. Good a nose. So that orange peel, star of the show here, interestingly enough. Yeah, there's a big uh, citrus blast up front. But then I'm getting like slightly roasted, almost like more toasty kind of malt character into a slight roastedness. Uh, from the mall character touch of like a kind of like a slight banana clove thing going on i get in dunkel i mean i've had a lot of uh dunkel visons that have adjuncts and usually it's chocolate to kind of make like a you know ch chocolate covered banana uh because the the yeast from the belgian yeast will produce those kind of notes like the banana clove getting slight slight uh, banana some clove for being brewed with chocolate, not getting a ton of it. The cold brew coffee is nice. It's mixing in with that slight roasty kind of malt character. And it has this just nice, like kind of blast of coffee, just like a, it hits you, but then it dissipates right away, right in the nose. Touch of caramel and toffee, sweeter vibes to the nose. That clove uh, spiciness, kind of breaking up the monotony of the sweetness in the nose. I think the, the nose would lean heavily towards the sweet side, if not for that clove. Maybe a slight earthiness, too. Yeah, it doesn't smell, honestly, it just doesn't smell mind-blowing. It smells pretty good, though, so let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Hmm. It's nice. Very nice. So at the heart of this is a well-made German-style Dunkelweizen. Like banana, clove, a little bit of caramel toffee. Like this definitely drinks like a Dunkelweizen. And then you have those adjuncts that are kind of accentuating the base beer, which is really nice. First, let's talk about the, the body and the mouthfeel. Body in this one for 6.6%, medium to higher side of medium. Has a nice little heft behind it, which is really cool. The mouthfeel, well carbonated. Has a nice, soft, smooth, almost creamy sensation to it, like a lot of just German-style wheat beers in general have great mouthfeels, and this is pretty damn nice as well, I would say. But right up front, that, that Dunkelweizen kind of hits banana, clove, maybe even coriander. Um, definitely a nice spiciness from the Belgian yeast. The caramel, the toffee, the sweeter malt notes, slight toasty, more than roasty at the front of the palate. Passes through the palate, mid-palate, that's where the orange peel comes in. It has like this drying, pithy orange sensation to it that's more akin to the peel or to the rind than anything else. The cold brew coffee hits a little bit. Motor? Is that a motorcycle outside? It's like 30 degrees outside. Whatever. He's having fun. Um, so has this little 
a kiss of uh, cold brew coffee. It's not bitter or anything. It just has a nice coffee character, slightly acidic to where it feels like it, but just ever so slightly. The chocolate is just an accentuation of uh, the, the base beer. Not really a chocolate in the base beer, but it's just like accentuating all those other like sweeter notes, like the caramel, the toffee, and so on and so forth. It's not technically or exactly a chocolate covered banana, but I could see somebody maybe drinking this and thinking that. As it continues on through the palate and finishes, it has a semi-dry finish, slight residual sweetness, mild bitterness, which you kind of expect from the style. Super easy to drink. It's solid. It's a solid damn beer. There's not much more to say about it. Um, if I look at it from the pers perspective that this is a German-style Dunkelweizen and they threw three different adjuncts in it, chocolate, orange peel, and cold brew uh, coffee, I'm slightly disappointed because all those are just subtle and nuanced, right, in the, in the taste. Do I want them to be bigger? I don't know. But I just feel like if you're going to put those three ingredients, I want one of them at the very least to be very pungent in my face, and none of them are. They're very subtle. Like I said, they accentuate the base beer. I think it's nice for what it is, but I don't think a lot of people are going to drink this one and be like, I totally get all three of those adjuncts. Maybe they will. Who knows? My panels are all different. I always say that. You know, everyone knows this beer is subjective. It's the whole nine. But for, for me, excuse me, this drinks like a very well-made German style Dunkelweizen with those three adjuncts just accentuating and just like playing their role uh, slightly, very subtly. So I'm happy with it, not blown away by it. Uh, I like the style in general, but it's not one of my, it's like my, not my favorite style or anything, but I'm going to drink the rest of this, have no problems doing so and enjoy every second. So I'm going to give Beer Wolf from Great Lakes a high 3.75 out of 5 and go 3.85 out of 5. I, to get to the four, I want a little bit more intensity from the adjuncts, I'd say. Um, but everything, the, the body, the mouthfeel, and the taste itself, solid, two thumbs up, good beer. Uh, so yeah, if you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Price and availability, uh, I'm pretty sure wherever Great Lakes is distribution, you'll see this one. Uh, I, I don't know their like whole distribution footprint, but I do know that they get pretty much in the Midwest uh, to the Northeast, Mid-Atlantic, that kind of uh, range. We've seen them here in New York for quite a while, ever since I've been in craft beer. Maybe, yeah, going back to one, of, ever since I got in craft beer in the uh, late 2009s, early 2010s, I'm pretty sure I've seen them around most of the time, maybe maybe a couple years after that, but they've been here for at least six or seven years. And uh, a price point, this was $2.99 for a bottle. I believe four packs of this were $10.99. Yeah, I think it was 10.99 four pack for something like this, 6.6%. Those three adjuncts, the style. Yeah, I would say that less than three bucks a bottle is worth it. You know, around 2.75. Uh, the place I get it at, and they kick it up a little bit for individual bottles because a lot, of, most places do that. Uh, so 2.99 for this bottle. I don't think it's a bad uh, value, but it's not the best value. But it's a good value. So, yeah, anyway, Beer Wolf, Great Lakes, 3.85 out of five. If you had this one before, let me know what you think about it. As I said before, and 6.6%. I can't even really tell that this is, a, you know, 6.6% beer. It drinks like a 5%. It drinks like a 5% Dunkelweizen. So it hides the alcohol relatively well. You could drink four pack of this. You'd feel really good. And I don't think it'd weigh down your palate. So I think it's a really easy drinking German style uh, Dunkelweizen. You have a lot of different things going on in here. But for the most part, pretty damn good. So I appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Till the next one. Cheers.